Ubisoft, Assassin's Creed Mirage Parkour System Trailer Breakdown Assassin's Creed Mirage Parkour Parkour is set to play a huge role in Assassin's Creed Mirage, just as it did in the first two games in the series. Traversing up buildings and across rooftops in the densely layered city of Baghdad will be your primary form of spatial navigation, and it's an aspect that Ubisoft promises will feel better than ever before. We have sped up the pace of the parkour so that players feel agile and empowered when traversing the city, says artistic director Jean-Luc Sala. Additionally, Ubisoft Bordeaux is bringing back many of the beloved animations and iconic moves from past games, like the corner swing, and is introducing new parkour moves like the pole vault to help Basim clear large obstacles. Players are going to take over the character of Basim Ibn Ishaq by becoming an assassin. Experience going on a new adventure in the same yet improved features in the game. The Assassin's Creed game series is widely known for its action-packed features, especially its parkour system. Parkour is key in Assassin's Creed Mirage. Ubisoft Bordeaux focused on giving Basim a certain quickness, allowing him to get through the heavy crowds of Baghdad, which Budin compares to the crowds of AC Unity, and take off across the flat roofs of Baghdad. All the animations are new to emphasize Basim's skills, while new elements of parkour like pole vaulting are introduced. Players are able to set off traps and knock over scaffolding to create even more distance, and there are also tools like smoke bombs and other gadgets to take advantage of. The parkour system and other details on the trailer. Looking at the game trailer, the environment is very fitting to perform parkour styles and skills. Basim can move freely up in the buildings and even use props along the way against the enemies. The design of the city is certainly ideal with the parkour system, unlike the previous Assassin's Creed games. New Parkour Animation This game also offers a whole new animation to try on soon. It features these two animation things that fit in doing parkour. The first one is Corner Swing, which allows Basim to go up in the corner of the buildings. While the second one Pole Vaulting is a unique one unlike the rest, but we are yet to see more of it. The speed of Basim's movements has also increased since the parkour system of this game is much faster. So Basim gets to move quickly as he travels into the different environments of the game. On top of that, Basim is said to be more faster and agile than the other assassins. Assassin's Creed Mirage's development is led by Ubisoft Bordeaux, with the support of several other studios under the Ubisoft banner, and is set in 861 AD Baghdad. It is a narrative action adventure, with a structure similar to the first game. This means that the core gameplay focus on stealth, parkour, and assassinations, as evident in the classic Assassin's Creed game. Players take on the role of Assassin's Creed Valhalla's Basim as he grows from a street thief into a master assassin. He is brought into the Hidden Ones and trained by his mentor and a former Persian slave, Roshan, played by Shora Agdashlu. Basim is plagued with nightmares and visions, and it seems he hopes to find answers to them within the organization. Budin describes their relationship as a classic mentor-student relationship, but it does seem Basim likes to play it a little fast and loose sometimes, while Roshan is more stringent. Release Date and Pre-Order of the Assassin's Creed Mirage As of now, there is no exact release date for the game. The game is going to come out sometime in 2023. But the game is now available for pre-order of the digital and physical versions. Plus, there are three editions as well with the standard, $50, deluxe, $60, and the collector's case, $150.